I've lived in various different places all over the world, mostly as a child and a young adult, and I feel part of the world. When I was five, we moved to Southeast Africa, and I was immediately captivated by the, the creatures, the insects, the fauna around me, the birds and the reptiles. They were so beautiful and intriguing. And I was also diving into stories from, um, from Grimm's, Celtic tales, Hans Andersen, I loved fairy tales. And alongside these fairy tales, I was hearing stories from the Shona and Ndebele people of the African folklore. They all mingle together and stay with me, and I'm pretty sure they come out of my work because I'm constantly making creatures that are mashups. They're part creature, part plant, part insect or reptile, and they represent our interconnected nature of the planet. I take mythologies and stories and ideas from diverse cultures. Mythologies tend to coalesce around particular stories, so they're the creatures that I work with, they're my family. The work that I'm making at the moment represents an amazing biodiversity. I'm fascinated by conscious and subconscious lives that they have. What I try to bring out in the work is an idea of caring and an empathic response to all forms of life. Every time I create a new creature, you have made a personality, but you've also made a story. I love that because every creature has a story. I'm thinking about them, I'm dreaming about them, and I'll wake up with their stories and try and draw out the particular personality of the story that's uh, going on in my head. <laughs> it's an ongoing obsession. What I love about ceramics, which keeps me coming back, is that it's such a versatile material and it is the earth. I think that you could probably work in ceramics for hundreds of years and never get to the end of the kind of forms that you can make with it. It has heart and soul and it's just a beautiful material to work with. The colours are so vibrant and beautiful. The spectrum is so vast and so complicated and frustrating at the same time. <laughs> But there's always wonderful discoveries to make along the way. And I'm constantly making new glazes or testing new glazes and mixing them differently and firing them differently. It's kind of addictive, I can't stop doing it. I still get up every day and think, yay, I'm gonna make something out of clay today, yippee. <laughs>